Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. You're a survivor. You're not going to give up. You're not going to stop. You're going to work harder. That's right. NFL season kicking off Thursday. A lot of people are in survivor pools. If you don't know what those are, briefly get into it. How each week you have to pick one team to win. But once you take that team, you cannot take them again. Sounds easy, except... When you're in week 9, week 10, week 11, you took all the good teams. Uh, it definitely gets more challenging. And it's the NFL. There's always upsets. Look at like the Jaguars last season when they beat the Buffalo Bills. Who expected that? So uh, any given Sunday, there's a reason for that fr uh, phrase. But let's get into it. Let's take a look at the week 1 schedule. Starting with this Thursday, Bills at Rams. Who knows if you really have the guts to pick that game, more power to you. Uh, Sunday, we got Saints at Falcons. I really like the Saints in that one. Uh, I think the Saints have a very, very good defense. The Falcons, Marcus Mariota starting, probably have one of the three worst talent rosters in the NFL. Uh, AJ Terrell's a stud quarterback, but other than that, just not a lot of talent throughout that roster. Browns at Panthers. Uh, tough game to call, although I think the Panthers do prevail. Baker Mayfield's comeback t against the Cleveland Browns. 49ers at Bears. While the 49ers are definitely a more talent-laden team, uh, let's see if Trey Lance um, you know, can overcome the pressure. He's got Jimmy G as the backup when everyone thought he would be gone. Uh, Trey Lance, definitely a pressure pack season. I think he'll do well, though. Uh, Steelers at Bengals. Bengals reigning AFC champions. Steelers likely will be starting Mitch Trubisky. Eagles at Lions. Eagles definitely have an improved roster. A lot of people think they can take the NFC East from the Dallas Cowboys. Colts at Texans. Texans, a lot of people believe, have the worst roster in the NFL. Colts have added Matt Ryan. Patriots at Dolphins. I mean, the Dolphins have more talent on their roster, uh, but the Patriots were scrappy all season last year and were able to make the playoffs. Ravens at Jets. Uh, Ravens, most people believe they will win. Uh, Zach Wilson Looking like he won't play. Not quite sure yet. Uh, so it could be Joe Waka Flacco Flames come back to Baltimore. Well, it's in New York, but playing against his former team. Jaguars at Commanders. I really expect Trevor Lawrence to do a lot better this season. So I think that'll be a competitive game. Giants at Titans. I'm a Giants fan. I've been saying 6-11 and at best. Uh, I do expect the Titans to win, although that Harold Landry injury definitely hurt the team chiefs at cardinals no deandre hopkins he'll be out the first six games chiefs first game patrick mahomes won't have tyree kill to throw the ball to raiders at chargers raiders of course added Devontae adams chargers have the most players from the nfl's top 100 list i believe they had eight uh, the Raiders, remember, beat the Chargers in the last week of last season's regular season in order to make the postseason. Packers at Vikings. No Devontae Adams for Green Bay. Minnesota has a bunch of weapons on offense. A returning Irv Smith Jr. Buccaneers at Cowboys. Questions for both teams' offensive lines. Ryan Jensen, Tyron Smith, both injured for uh, their respective teams. And Monday Night Football, Russell Wilson goes back to Seattle to face the Seattle Seahawks. First game with the Denver Broncos in the regular season. Uh, so definitely not an easy week, to be honest. If we could look at DraftKings Sportsbook, the biggest spreads for week one, the largest spread is just eight points. Uh, that is by... The Indianapolis Colts are favored by eight points. Uh, there are the J Ravens favored by seven against the Jets. 49ers favored by seven against the Bears. And those are actually the three biggest spreads of the week. So only three spreads of seven or more points. If I had to pick, well, 
if I, I will pick. I haven't made my survivor pick yet. But I actually like the New Orleans Saints. Uh, they are favored by five and a half. It is in Atlanta. But I just think New Orleans defense will definitely cause Atlanta a lot of trouble. And Jameis Winston really did play well last season. Expect a bounce back season for Alvin Kamara. Might have been his worst season of his career last year. That would be my first choice. Second choice would be Tennessee against my Giants. Um, they are also favored by five and a half. Uh, third choice would be the Colts favored by eight. But let me know in the comments which teams are you looking to take in Survivor or which team. Of course, some of you might be in more than one Survivor pool. Uh, week two, there are a few more obvious choices. There are actually a few teams with large spreads, including the Los Angeles Rams, who are favored by 13 points as a now uh, against the Atlanta Falcons in L.A., so might be an easier week. 49ers favored by 8.5 at home against the Seahawks. Broncos favored by 10.5 at home against the Texans. And Packers favored by 9.5 at home against the Bears. So there's actually four bigger spreads for week two as of now than there are um, in week one. So again, let me know in the comments, week one survivor, who you taking. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.